Hey everyone, welcome back to Jeff the IT Guy. Today we're going to continue with EC2 and we're going to install our LAMP server. Well, the rest of it, we've already installed, installed Apache. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to install MariaDB, which will be used for MySQL. And then we will also install PHP. So go ahead, open up to your Amazon instance, to your Amazon uh, console, management console, go to Cloud9 and open up your Cloud9 IDE as well as terminal here. So what you need to do is get a new terminal open. Okay. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the right repositories. And so for that, this is what we're going to use. This is, we're going to install the Amazon Linux extras. And that's what this is. This is the Amazon Linux extras. Um, I'll actually write, uh, write it up in the description on what you need to do description so that you can follow along and you can copy and paste it. Um, but this is what we need to do first. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It's going to install it. Okay. The next thing we need to do now that we've got those repos and that's current, we actually need to install everything. So we're going to use the, our yum command to install it. So it's just sudo yum install dash y http and then the Maria DB. Okay, so we've already, I've already installed this, but this is it. So I'll put this in the guide as well. Okay, and then we need to make sure that Apache is started. And so to start Apache, you can do it two ways. You can say sudo service HTTP D start, or you can say sudo system CTL HTT uh, start HTTPD and then I'll start it. You can also set your EC2 instance to where if you have to reboot it for any reason, Apache will start automatically. And to do that, you're going to say sudo system CTL enable HTTPD. And what this will do is whenever it restarts, um, it'll automatically start. Um, Apache. Okay, so now that we have everything uh, at least downloaded, we need to set our file permissions. And I'm going to put this in the description. So we're going to set our file permissions. So it's just a sudo user mod. We're going to create the group Apache uh, with the EC2 user in it. Okay, and so once we do that, we need to make sure after that you're going to hit exit. So you're going to exit out of it, then open the terminal again. And if you type in groups, you're going to see that there's an EC2 user group, which is good. And so now we need to give recursive permissions. So, or an ownership to the HTML folder. We're going to say it's actually the www folder. So anything that's inside of it, which is the HTML folder has the correct permission. So this is the command you use. It'll be in the description. So once you type that in and hit enter, it'll go through and do its thing. Then we need to then this command here. This is going to give the right permissions even further. So this is the ch mod. So it's setting the permissions on the folder itself. Okay. And now we want to make sure that we have recursive. Um, for all, any directories that we create or anything. So this is the command for it. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, so the next thing you need to do in here is we need to do our MySQL install. Um, <clears throat> we need to make sure that we do our secure installation for MySQL. Okay, and so to do that, you need to start your MariaDB, which is sudo systemctl start maria db okay make sure it started so let's start then you're going to say sudo mysql underscore secure installation okay and you're going to hit this and it's going to ask you some questions and so the first question it's going to ask you is if you want to um what the root user password is there's not a password by default so just hit enter okay and then you need to enter why so that you can create a new password and you're gonna have to top it pass or twice um <clears throat> then it'll ask you if you want to re remove anonymous user accounts hit y disable remote remote login hit y 
remove test database, hit Y, and it's gonna to ask to you to reload privilege tables and save your changes, hit Y. And so what you need to do that, um, after that, is you can also set it up to where the database starts whenever the server restarts. And so to do that, you're gonna type in sudo systemctl enable maria db okay and this is going to tell the linux system to start maria db whenever the server itself starts so now let's log in to the server itself so that we can make or to the database itself so that we can make sure everything's working so you're going to type in mysql space dash u then root that's the user then dash p that says that you're using a password enter the password that you created and i missed top mine but enter the password that you created okay and you're going to get this screen here and so when you're in here um you can hit show databases and then a semicolon and it'll show you the databases and what you want to do is you want to create a database that you're going to use throughout this tutorial and so to do that, type in create database and then the name of the database. So if I do create database test and then semicolon, it's going to create that database. And if I type in show database, we'll see that it actually shows up here. Okay, so to exit out of this, type in exit, then a semicolon. Okay, and now we are logged out of MariaDB. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our PHP is working. Okay, so to do that, start a new file. You can name it whatever you want to. So we'll say new file, okay? And we're gonna say, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in up here, this is our opening and closing PHP tags. And inside of it, we're just gonna type in PHP info like that, okay? So PHP info um, and then opening and closing braces or uh, parenthesis, whatever they're called, and then semicolon. We're going to save it. You can save it as whatever you want to. So we'll save this test.php, okay? And then we need to go to our site to make sure it's working. So to do that, go to your EC2 instance that's inside of your AWS console, okay? Copy your public DNS. It's going to be the one that says compute-1 Amazon AWS.com. Put that in here and then at the end of it give it a slash and then whatever you name that file so we named ours test.php type that in and this is going in if you get this screen you know that it's working and so this means that your php version is 7.2.31 everything is ready to go and lastly we can set up php at my admin and what php my admin is is it is a browser-based tool that you can manage your database. So you can look at data, you can create databases, you can create tables, you can run SQL in it. Um, so you don't have to do it in a command line, you can actually do it through the browser in a GUI. And so to do that, you need to use this command, sudo yum install php mbstring y. You're gonna hit enter. Okay, then after you do that, you need to restart Apache. So to restart Apache, just type in sudo system ctl restart httpd, okay? And that's going to restart Apache. And now we need to restart the PHP form or FPM. So it's gonna be sudo systemctl restart php-fpm, okay? And you're gonna do that. And now we need to navigate. You don't have to navigate anywhere because you're in the folder that you wanted to as long as you followed the Cloud9 tutorial, which is the HTML folder. Next thing you need to do is we need to download PHP My Admin. Here it is. This will be in the description as well so that you can copy and paste it and put it into your command line. Okay. And so you're just going to do a wget on it. Once you get it, we're going to make a new directory. And this is the command for it. And we will also just copy paste. I'll put this in the description as well so you can copy paste it. Okay, you're gonna hit enter. And then you're gonna remove the tar ball. And a tar is the installation package for Linux. Okay, and then once you do that, you're gonna, here's the command to remove it. You're just gonna remove the tar ball from it. Um, if you haven't started 
the MySQL server yet, you need to. Okay. And so now everything is done and we can actually go to PHP my admin. So if you haven't, if you're not still on the page, um, go ahead and get your public DNS and at the end of it type in PHP my admin and it has to have the capital M and capital A and then you'll get a page um, not like this because I'm still logged in but if I wasn't logged in it'll ask you let's see here let me log out Whenever you'll get this page and you're just going to type in root because that's the user that you already have in your database and then the password that you gave it. And here we are. Now we have PHP my admin and over here it's a GUI so it's a graphical user interface. You can look here's our database test that we created. There's not a table but you can create a table if you want to. You can give it a name so we'll say it's the test table, the number of columns. You can hit go and here you can actually give the name of the columns, the value type. Um, you want to know what kind of attributes it has, virtuality, you can even make it um, primary, all that stuff. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Um, you don't have to, we can do it via the command line as well. And so this has been the tutorial on how to get our MySQL server and PHP installed on our EC2 instance. And so from here, we are ready to start creating uh, websites. And so from going forward, we're gonna start with HTML and we're gonna build our way up to creating a website using HTML, CSS, PHP, and JavaScript. And so <clears throat> you're well on your way to being able to um, say that you're like a, a LAMP stack developer. <laughs> Uh, so keep following the tutorials. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, leave a like or a dislike, whatever you choose. Leave a comment. Let me know how it's going for you as well, if you're enjoying it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more tutorials in AWS, as well as learning how to build websites. Um, you know, we'll look at forms. We'll look at database administration, all sorts of things. And so I hope you all are staying safe, and I hope you have a great evening or a great day or morning or whatever time it is. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.